Hey, what's going on guys? So one of my most popular modifications is one that I really recommend that you try if ever you want to start out with modifying puzzles, and that is the 3x3 octagonal barrel. The reason that I highly recommend that puzzle is because it's a very easy modification to start out with, and it'll teach you all of the basics in order to start modifying puzzles, which is to cut the edges down, to fill them, and then to sand everything flat. So what I want to do today is I want to make a 5x5 version of the octagonal barrel. Now that might seem like a very easy thing to do, and it is. <laughs> you see, whenever I make a 5x5 barrel, typically I cut it into a 5x5 octagonal barrel, and then I turn all of the edges away, and I end up with a perfect cylinder. So that's what I want to do today, minus the whole barreling part. There is one small problem with this modification, which is I don't think it's going to be as visually appealing as the regular 3x3 octagonal barrel. And the reason for that is, with the octagonal barrel on the 3x3, I can go one third of the way to the center on either side. But because this is five layers thick, uh, I have to choose whether or not I'm going to cut off two cubies worth of material, or if I'm going to cut off just one cubie, which I probably won't because that'll not be very interesting at all. Uh, or if I'm going to divide this uh, layer here on both sides so I end up with equal segments of unmodified and then cut down areas. This is a little difficult to explain, but it'll make more sense as I get into the modification. So for now, let's get started. Alright, so spoiler alert for this video, if you've seen me build a 5x5 barrel before, then you've pretty much seen this entire build video, so I'm probably going to speed through it a little faster than usual. It's not that hard to wrap your head around. Basically, I'm going to cut all four of the edges off one axis, and then I'm going to fill them. So I started by getting a blade out, and I prized the center caps off, and then I tightened the puzzle up so that it wouldn't turn while I was cutting it on the bandsaw. And after all of that was done and the puzzle was sufficiently tightened, I took it over to my bandsaw and I cut all four of the edges off. I didn't want to go too deep because I was afraid of cutting into the mechanism which can happen and it's really difficult to repair, so I went slowly and I slowly cut off all four of the edges. The way I went about cutting these edges off was I cut around about halfway through the second QB inwards. And as you can see, there is enough material removed that I can carve it down into an octagonal shape, but not so much that it's going to look weird. Because I hadn't fully cut down all of the faces on the bandsaw, I decided to sand some of them on the belt sander that would open up some of the cavities of the pieces, which would make it easier for me to fill them. After I did that and I was happy with the overall shape, I got my drill out and I disassembled the puzzle. I deburred all the pieces, which just gets rid of all the melted plastic and flashing that's in the way of all the holes I was going to fill, and then I mixed up some epoxy sculpt so that I could fill all the pieces. After I'd finished filling all of the pieces, I looked over them all and everything was looking pretty good, so I took him for a small trip to the oven, that way I could cure all of the pieces really quick because of course I didn't have that much time today. I cleaned up all the pieces and then I scraped off any epoxy sculpt that would prevent me from reassembling the puzzle. And then after I did that, I reassembled the puzzle so that I could sand it down into its final shape. I did this on one face to start out with, that way I could see precisely where I wanted to sand it down to, and after I'd finished with that one face, I did it to the rest of them. After I'd finished sanding down all of the faces, I was happy with the overall shape so I rounded off all of the edges and then I disassembled the puzzle so that I could round off all of the pieces individually. The way I did this was with a nail file I just knocked off all of the sharp edges and then I rubbed it down with some scotch brite and slowly reassembled it. And here it is, the 5x5 octagonal barrel is complete. I won't get a chance to stick it up in this video because I ran out of time, but the modification is complete as you can see here, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I actually want to get some proper stickers made similar to my 5x5 barrel and my 3x5x5. I have stickers for both of those puzzles over on Oliver's Sticker Shop, and I want to get some made for this one as well. 
I really recommend that you try this puzzle out for yourself. It's actually not that difficult. It just took a long time for me because I started very late in the day. But I think it's a really cool puzzle and I'm really happy with the overall finish. I'm going to get some paint on this a little later on and I'll sticker it up sometime in the near future and show it in a later video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, product placement.